Maximum more. Punch it. Let me show you around my school. So, the Australian Maritime College is a faculty branch of University of Tasmania located here in a small island of Australia, just south of Melbourne. It's one of the most specialized maritime institutes in the world. There are four major sectors here, naval architecture, deck, engineering, and commercial training courses. The commercial training, also known as STCW courses, as some of you have done before, some of the courses are firefighting, personal survival, survival craft, medical, and damage control. Are not just for students. Professionals such as firemen or helicopter rescuers all come here to use the facilities to train. The school really takes a hands-on approach in training so that the students are better prepared for real-world situations. Besides, it's much more fun than sitting in a classroom learning from books. A lot of cadets worried if they can handle the life on ship before actually starting out their maritime careers. And it's really daunting without any actual way of finding out before stepping foot on a real ship. Well, here in AMC, they have a few vessels specifically cater for students to stay on board and get a feel of what it's like to work on a ship and live on a ship. For the cadets, it really helps to experience the daily task on board from important things like whether they can handle seasickness to just generally finding out if it's their lifestyle. Then for the larger scale of operations, such as ship handling, we've got tons of toys for that. got two azimuth tug simulators, two full bridge simulators, and eight connected smaller simulators so students can join in in the same simulation together. You're inside a simulation of a simulation inside the matrix. Inside a simulation of a simulation inside a, a taco inside a taco within a Taco Bell that's inside a KFC within a mall that's inside this photograph Inside a dream, dream within a dream, dreams within dreams to a further dream state. For engineers, there's also a few full engineering simulators and workshops. The use of simulations improves the learning experience and adds a sense of fun and drama, but also urgency into the learning process. For example, the instructor can unexpectedly throw in a stressful emergency situation in order to push and test student skills 
then better prepare them for reality. Boop. Switching off the GPS without telling us. You know the classic question, what to do in man overboard? Then the officer recites, oh, wheel part over, mark position, call the master, life boy, etc, etc. In the simulator, when it happens for the first time without warning, it gets intense and really puts their knowledge, teamwork, and decision-making skills to the test. Then there are the branch of marine science who study fishes and other marine creatures. They dive into the research of various fields of biology. I don't really know much about the subject, but they seem to be dissecting fish every time I see them in the labs. Cavitation's research lab. In simple terms, it's to study the water bubbles and forces created by negative pressure when a propeller is spun and the ship travels through water. They use super slow speed cameras to analyze the patterns. The science behind it has to do with the efficiency of the hull and the propellers. But for a small mind like me, it is cool to see it in action. Yeah, Mr. White. Yes, yeah, science. All I need. The naval architects here are all about projects and building stuff, working closely with the engineers and deck officers. One of my favorite is their annual pass the bridge challenge. What's better than doing a school project inside Seafarer's Bar, holding a beer and playing with pasta? The goal here is to create practical solutions with a challenging and flimsy material. The architects have to learn how to manage the stress, structure, and forces in the same way designing the ship's hull. As the scantling structure theory behind it is similar. The strongest passive bridge was able to hold almost 200 kilograms. Model Test Basin This hydrodynamic facility is to study the interactions between waves and ships and hull resistance as well as shallow water effects, namely the squat and bank effect. Interactions such as this. One of the biggest research conducted here is into renewable wave energy, transforming ocean waves into clean and pollution-free electricity. As the world slowly moves away from coal energy, Wave energy has become one of the viable ways to produce power. It's capable of making different kinds of waves so that the architect can collect data and analyze the various real-world situations. Model ships are first tested as a mini sea trial, built in a workshop, before the full-scale version are built for the actual sea trials. Speaking of the workshop, Look at those palm trees, damn. did you know that Anna Maersk burns about six tons of heavy fuel oil per hour? And just a passage crossing the Pacific in 20 days, that's already nearly a million US dollars in fuel. Wait a second, Jeff, what's that got to do with anything? Well, the work that naval architects do here, continuously looking into ways to improve the efficiency of the ship's hull and propellers, therefore reducing the fuel costs and consumption while trying to reduce the pollution emission into the atmosphere. As there is increasing concern for the environment, the career prospect and opportunities for naval architects after they graduate is very big and very good. And then, there's a fun little project, Autonomous Ships. The goal for these robots is to recognize color patterns and objects, then process that information to avoid collision.
One day, they'll take away navigation jobs. My job. Oh my day! Oh my god! Towing tanks. Very similar to the model test basin, except it's in a tunnel underneath the campus, which spans across the whole AMC building. Here's also where they test and collect data for different models, ranging from single hull to multi hull. Anything from ships to human wave serving projects, or even underwater crafts. The AUVs, Autonomous Underwater Vehicles which are used to collect data in harsh conditions of the south polar region, transversing underneath the sea ice with its sonar sensors. It's one of the interesting works created in AMC. Cool, huh? There's also logistics and maritime business management offered in our campus, but that's business stuff. No one wants to see B-roll of people sitting in a classroom, just learning stuff. So that's about it, folks. Hopefully you enjoy this video about my maritime school. If you do, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel for more content. The purpose of this video is to showcase something cool about my school in an entertaining way. In no way am I advertising or sponsored by a school to advertise for them or trying to persuade anyone to come in here. In fact, for new joiners, it's just cadets, I'd recommend just studying somewhere closer to home in your own country. AMC's tuition fee is one of the highest in the world, one of the most expensive. But with that being said, the training facilities and curriculum that's being taught here is one of the best in the world and it justifies the price. So I leave it to you to decide on your own. If you've got any questions, feel free to send me a DM on Instagram. I'll try to respond as many as I can. I'll see you next time.